Here we have a Rosemount uh, Heart Model 275 communicator talking digitally to a Rosemount Model 3051 differential pressure transmitter. It is communicating using the Heart protocol, which is interjecting AC voltage and current signals along the same two wires that carry the 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal. We're powering it through a 24 volt power supply through a 250 ohm resistor right to the transmitter. And currently we have the communicator connected in parallel with the transmitter. This is the most standard method of connecting the communicator, is directly in parallel with the transmitter terminals. What I want to demonstrate here is that you don't always have to connect it right at the transmitter terminals itself. There are alternatives we can use. So watch what happens when I disconnect. First you'll notice we get an alarm. It says device disconnected, which is rather obvious. We disconnected it. It's no longer able to talk to it. What I'm going to do is reconnect the communicator at a different point in the circuit. Notice how we are still in parallel with the terminals on the transmitter. If I go back to my communicator and push the retry button, it comes right back. We're able to read all the same information we did before, even though our transmitter is hooked up in a different physical location. It's electrically the same, but physically different. So, I could even extend this further. Following these wires back, the black wire leading all the way back to the power supply, the red wire here going to the white jumper to that side of the resistor. If I disconnect my communicator, notice first I get the alarm again. Now I make my connections. One wire to the white jumper on the resistor, the other wire over here to the black lead on the power supply. We are still electrically in parallel with the transmitter, so it should work. I'll push retry, and there we go. I get all the same data I got before, but I'm not connected directly on those two terminals. All I need to be is connected directly, in, I should say electrically, in parallel with the transmitter. However, watch what happens here. If I disconnect this communicator lead, of course I get the device disconnected alarm, and reconnect it over here, right across the power supply, it will not work. If I push the retry button, it tries for a moment, then gives me an alarm device disconnected. It simply can't do it. The reason for this has to do with the fact this is a DC voltage source. And as a DC voltage source, it has capacitive filtering in the output terminals. That capacitive filtering absolutely kills or squelches any attempt at imposing an AC voltage across those two wires. Therefore, it snubs out the heart signals and does not allow them to exist on the wiring to the transmitter. That, in fact, is exactly why we have to have a resistor in series with the circuit to make the heart system work. That resistor places an impedance between the transmitter and the power supply, so now I can have AC signals existing on the wire that don't get shorted out by the power supply. But if I try to talk directly to the power supply, it's not going to work, because the filter capacitors in there act as a direct short to the AC signals generated by this device, and generated by the transmitters it tries to talk. Now here's another place you can connect the communicator. You can go directly in parallel with the loop resistance. It may not make sense at first why this works. I'll first demonstrate that it does work. I'll push the ret retry button, and here we are again. It's now reading the same variables. It's reading the 12 milliamps, reading the 500.1 inches of water column. If I change my pressure over here, my hand pump, you can see the numbers are updating and changing, so we do indeed have a live signal. You're probably wondering, why in the world does this work? Connecting this in parallel with the resistor is not electrically in parallel with the transmitter terminals. Ah, but from the perspective of the AC signals, it is. Because remember what we said about the DC power supply. The capacitive filtering on the output terminals looks like a short circuit to the AC signals. So if in our minds, we replace this power supply with a short circuit. Now, one side of the resistor, shorted through the power supply, does directly connect to one side of the transmitter. The other side of the resistor connects to the other side of the transmitter. And from here to here, electrically, from the perspective of the AC signal, it is directly in parallel with those two terminals. To do that, we have to look at it through the eyes of the superposition theorem, where we consider one power source at a time in the circuit. And applying superposition to this as a power source means that the uh, current output by this device, the AC current, 
finds itself a direct short path through the DC power supply mm. right to the other terminal of the transmitter where it needs to go. Mm. However, we don't have to hook it across the resistor. As I said before, the most common connection point mm -hmm. is directly across the terminals of the transmitter. Mm -hmm. But it's important to realize that is not the only place you can connect it and have it work. Mm 